on September 9, CMA was the first to announce a freeze on prompt fares effective immediately. HPL followed, then Maersk and One took a position one after another. They said, hope the market will calm down and we focus on creating long-term value for our customers. The government is stepping in. The sea freight is budging. Is the era of price cuts coming? The actual situation may not necessarily so, at least not at the moment. First, before that, sea freight has been rising for more than one year, straight from last June to peak this September. But not all routes are falling. I'm afraid the most dramatic drop is the U.S. West Coast route. However, other routes are still rising. For example, the Korean route grows by as much as 8.5 percentage. Industry insiders said the surcharge do not stop living and even went up. Oh no! In fact, the shipping companies are not forced by the government to freeze prices, but to lay out the market price in 2022. In particular, they hope to maintain the long-term agreement price of besided magnates, who account for the bulk of the ship space at a reasonable price. This is the main source of profits for the next year in this way to retreat in order to advance. In fact, as early as February and March this year, the peak purchasing season of Amazon, Walmart and other retailers had started earlier. The stocking season of wholesalers was earlier and more than in previous years. In addition to the fear of rising raw materials and unstable exchange rates, what they feared more was the sea freight. The result was really as expected. The sea freight rose rapidly with both congestion from April to September. Therefore, wholesalers do not appreciate the shipping company's tentative increase in freight because they have almost purchased all goods for this year. With the improvement of the epidemic, the store will be crazy to purchase because the market recovers and is out of stock, which will result in lack of capacity. A large amount of goods are either in warehouses or overstock imports. The final result may be that the entire market supply is greater than demand, which will be a big long-term problem. Where safe freight is going, we can't define it. We can only keep an eye on it. But for importers, especially in the e-commerce industry, the competition between you and stores has probably never been as intense as this year. The only instability is the epidemic, which worsens in favor of e-commerce and improves in favor of stores. At the same time, demand and capacity will remain highly unbalanced even in 2022. The increase in import costs due to soaring sea freight will eventually be reflected in an increase in the selling price of goods, which means consumers will need to pay more to buy the same goods as before. For the original PT online consumers, because of the increased price, it is taken for granted that become over critical for the quality of the product. Therefore, e-commerce sellers will face a huge increase in sales pressure and consumer pressure in their daily life. International trade is an ecology of rules. Some people follow the rules, some make the rules, and some are the rules.